What's up everyone and welcome back. I'm super excited today. Let me just show you why. Well, backstory. So for Christmas, we got this bar of soap and in this clear kind of greenish bar of soap, there is this money packet. In this money packet, there could potentially be a one, a five, a 10, a 20, or a $50 bill hidden inside the bar of soap. The time has come. The time has come that the bar of soap is finally down to the packet. Here it is. Oh, focus. So it's got this waterproof bag that was inside this block of soap and it's ready to be opened. Dale, any predictions on what we're gonna get? 50. 50 bucks. Conrad. One dollar. Conrad's in the vibe right now. You think it's gonna be a dollar? My gut instincts tells me that we're gonna get a dollar. However, that's not how you win big. You gotta wanna win big if you wanna win big. I mean, how can this soap company make money if they put 50s in every bar, right? I'm not sure what the ratio is. Dale, you getting scissors? All right, drum roll. Excited, so excited, so excited, so excited. Oh, what's it gonna be? All right, open it up. What is it? What is it? It's a... What is it? Camera's going blur. Oh, one dollar bill. So we got a dollar bill. Ah, oh, I wanted that 50 so bad. I wonder how many bars of soap you'd have to buy to actually get the 50, or if there is even a $50 bill. I don't know what that person paid for the bar of soap, but it was definitely fun, and it took two months to get to the bar. It wasn't a bar of soap we used every day, but it was fun. We're hanging out tonight, playing some VR. We're in some kind of dinosaur game. Conrad's playing. I've never played this game. I have no idea what he's seeing in there. VR is progressing. Um, and I'm checking back like every week to see new games and big release titles. I really haven't seen any news on any big VR release titles, but I did see someone sent me a link just the other day, uh, these VR vests that uh, they're wearing, and it's so like if you get shot here, you can actually feel it here, or if you get hit in the arm, you can actually feel it in your arm. Right now, it's a Kickstarter project, but they have other versions that aren't, um, but they're kind of pricey, I don't know. I would be interested in trying one for sure. Definitely more immersive. And I'm pretty sure that I am going to help co-design, create a VR game. I've got this great idea, I believe, that's gonna be really interactive and fun uh, and hopefully easy to make. So I think, I, I think I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some help. I need people to help and uh, I'm gonna put a small team together and actually try to make a VR oh game. God. So we're just getting started here and uh, it is in fact Taco Tuesday once again. It is, yeah, Tuesday and it's Taco Tuesday. We got all our stuff, guacamole, which I just love. I just love the guac. Not really, that was a lie. I just lied to you. That was the first lie I told on camera. I'm sorry about that. We got cheeses, lettuce, sour cream, taco meat. We got it all. We're gonna do dinner. I'll see you in a second. Actually, while I got you here, the house still hasn't recovered from the birthday party. Uh, I've just been so tired this week and I really haven't wanted to do anything. Last night, we had this huge list of things we needed to get done, but we didn't. We ended up sitting right here on the living room floor and playing a full game of Monopoly all together. Four player Monopoly and it lasted super long. It was, and we stopped playing at like 11, like 11 o'clock. Jess was way in the lead. I was already out of the game. That's a Nerf dart. I think it has icing on it. <laughs> Nerf dart with icing, yeah. Uh, on Conrad's birthday, we had this huge Nerf battle. It was like five male adults versus like 4,500 kids with Nerf guns and Nerf darts, and it was actually, it was amazing, but there is darts in every nook and cranny in this house. It's crazy temperatures in Ohio going from almost 80 degrees down to 20 degrees, and then back up to 50 degrees. It may just be our body, like my body doesn't know whether to hibernate or get ready for summer or eat more or eat less. It's like on this crazy weather roller coaster ride. The barometric roller coaster ride, I wanna call it. Okay, we are gonna do dinner now. Uh, that last time I introduced you and I said to be back in a second, now I'll be back in a second. Hey guys, Dale again. Still haven't eaten. I forgot, I forgot. I forgot something, I forgot to tell you something. And uh, that is that I really, really like my flour tortillas grilled. Kind of brown, kind of crispy, crunchy. I don't like it soft. Soft tacos, not for me. Nope, I'm more of the, uh, what's the, what's the thing you put in the griddle and it like 
panini. Crunch. No, not a panini. Panini girl. No, no, the Mex uh, the oh, quesadilla. Quesadilla. I'm more of a quesadilla guy. I like I like it nice and brown and crispy and salty and meaty and beany. And, well, you get the idea. All right, I'm I'm actually gonna stop and eat this time. I'm I'm not gonna pick the camera up again. Oh, one more thing before I eat. I haven't eaten yet. Uh, something. Exciting to me anyway, and that is the cable company upgraded the service today Now I have like this crazy high-speed internet. It's not as fast as like in the city, but I went from having uh, 30 meg down and five up which is still fast. It did everything we needed to do, but now now it's 115 meg down and 10 meg up and it actually got uh, 14 meg up on one of the speed tests. So that's gonna make my videos upload in like so fast, like half the time, at least half the time. That means better efficiency, faster workflow, more productivity, easier videos, more videos. So it it's good for everyone all around, except maybe the checkbook. It is a little pricey. So I this time I am for real, I'm gonna eat. I'll see you in a second. So I did in fact eat and I probably got food all over, yep, right there. That's proof. That's proof right there. I got food all over myself. It dropped right out of the bottom of my burrito taco thingy that I made. And uh, yeah, I got it. The kids are absolutely loving this. Uh, this game is called like King Kaiju or King Kaiju. And you're basically this dinosaur. You just destroy the city. He's literally rampaged all. That's what it, it's like VR rampage. I'm excited. Uh, I downloaded a zombie game that looks just like, I don't know, looks just like, but same concept is like Nazi zombies from Call of Duty. And like there's windows that they break in and you gotta repair them. So this feels like an odd video to me. Normally, uh, you know, I come home from work, I know what I'm gonna film and it's like, I know what to do, I'm on it. But tonight is kind of like, I'm, I'm kind of in this like, I'm on this fence of, oh, I don't want to do anything, but yet I also want to upload. So I'm like in this creative dilemma where I'm feeling extremely lazy, a little tired, but on the same time, I'm motivated that I want to do it, but physically I don't want to do it. Does that make sense? Up here I want to do it, but the rest of my body's telling me no. Kind of like that song. I got a fork in the road, but I got a couple products here that uh, I want to do with the kids. I don't know if you guys are going to be interested in it, but um, there's a couple cool things in here. Maybe you've seen them, maybe you haven't. For the first one, we have the Pocket Volcano. Ooh, I love these things. We can make a volcano erupt. We got our volcano. We need vinegar. Yep, grab the vinegar. And we need baking soda. When I was a kid, they didn't have pre-made volcanoes. You took clay or Play-Doh or anything you could find to make the volcano shape, hollow it out, and then you put the ingredients. But this one's kind of neat. It's a little tabletop version. We're gonna fill this with baking soda right there. So, well, that's one way, but it's gonna make the towel erupt. Careful. Guys, this is science. You gotta be careful. One misstep and we could blow the whole house up. Nasty vinegar mess. I hate the smell of vinegar. This is gonna pain me to do this. Although I can get through. All right, hold on. We're getting out of control with the baking powder. All right, here we go. Cap it. Now for the show. Ready? Yeah. Oh! Was that it? It's pretty tiny. Oh! Blah, 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 blah. Now that's awesome. So Dale is less than impressed and he's grabbing the Play-Doh to make a big one. Okay, I'm in for this. All right, well, we're gonna up this game and build a big Play-Doh one. Well, maybe not huge. I don't know how many containers we have. Horrific Atwood Volcano is ready. Dale, dump in the baking soda. Does look like a donut with powdered sugar. It's a powdered donut. Two, one. Careful! Oh, blah. <laughs> blah. I'm pretty sure that's not how that was supposed to go. <laughs> Ew, it smells like vinegar. I hate the smell of vinegar. Dry that up. Now we have no more play doh. Yeah, we pretty much ruined the play doh. I did it on sale. Ew. 
All right, next up, we got the tornado cap that you just screw two bottles together. We're gonna take this bottle and screw it onto this bottle. Anyone know what it's gonna do? It's gonna go. Yeah. Hmm? You gotta twirl it a little bit. Three, two, one. Oh, look at the tornado. Uh -huh. It's still cool. I remember one of our uh, science teachers doing this like in grade school, and I've never actually done this except back then. Mm. I'm pretty sure these are sold for two liters, but this is working good. Daddy, it would be cool if we put little pieces of Play Doh. The Play Doh would just go. Little, little styrene boats? If you look at it from here, it's like a hole straight down. It's an air hole that goes all the way to the center. All right, well, that's the last of it. Two simple little cool things. So I went to this meeting and in their office, they had this really cool table that they made. And basically they had, they had their old Mac Pros just like this flipped on their end and then they made it into a table. So they put a big glass top around it and the, the Mac case was the actual stand for it. I loved it. I fell in love with it instantly. So, you know, maybe uh, I know Roman has this exact same thing. I think he still has it sitting around somewhere. So maybe we put ours together and make like this really cool table like I saw. I'm basically putting most of my efforts getting ready for this weekend coming up. Uh, I've got a ton to get ready for the weekend. Um, I'm working on a bunch of different stuff. I'm working on projects. Uh, I'm developing a product right now which is taking a lot of my time, extra time, and uh, I'm also working on a few other projects. Like I said, I'm thinking about uh, making a final team to build a VR game, and uh, I, I just got projects going on all over the place, and I'm trying to do more and do it more efficiently and bring in help bring in professionals, more professional than me anyway, on some of these bigger projects. So uh, that's where I'm gonna leave you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you again next time.